leadership is fundamentally about inspiring people, engaging people, influencing people, all of which places a premium on communication. You cannot be a great leader without being a great communicator. I have seen in my time people go through utter transformations as they've learned some of these techniques. The key to engagement, to move in people, to get in people to do something different is by going in through their hearts. It's tapping into their emotions. And the best way to do that is through storytelling, because when we tell people our stories, we get them feeling empathetic towards us, which is increasing their oxytocin levels. We get them focusing on what we're saying, which is measurable through an increase in, in their cortisol levels. And then you can start speaking to their minds. So many people will go out there and say things that they don't actually believe or really understand. Shakespeare had a line which was, if the purpose of words is to deceive, the purpose of our gestures is to communicate truth. If they're saying something they don't really believe, their body language, there'll be twitches, imperceptible to the naked eye, but the instinctive brain picks up on it and it plays into that vital thing, which is, of course, trust. If you believe what you're saying, you care about what you're saying, you know your topic, you will be persuasive. If one of those three things is not there, you'll lose people. Put things in threes. This is an ancient Roman rhetorical device. Friends, Romans, countrymen. We came, we saw, we conquered. Infamy, infamy, they've all got it in for me. It's been tested and checked. There was a study done by the University of Georgetown, the University of California in 2014, which checked three-part arguments against four-part arguments. In every sort of scenario they checked, three-part arguments were found to be more persuasive. So don't make your product cleaner, greener, cheaper, and prettier. Just make it cleaner, greener, cheaper. So let me give you three principles for effective communication. Firstly, the audience is more important than the speaker. Instead of thinking just about what you want to say, think about what it is that your audience wants to hear and then knit what you're saying around your audience's perspective. That's number one. Number two, emotions are more powerful than logic. This is a simple matter of biological fact. The part of our brain that deals with emotions is much more powerful than the part of our brain that deals with logic. So get in there. And thirdly, less is more, at which point I should surely shut up.